Oh hey guys, how's it going? It's Colsey Man back for some more action here on my YouTube channel. Welcome back. Thank y'all for joining. And it is championship week in college football. We'll talk more about that later on. Uh, got some very exciting games and some playoff rankings to go over. But before we begin, please give this video a like. Hit that thumbs up button right there and also be present that subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button right over there in the red. And let's jump right into it as we take a look back at last week. So let's start our week 12 rewind off with Army defeating Navy. Uh, I actually picked Navy to win that game, but I always big name for some reason um, but Navy usually always wins Army hardly wins at all which is kind of impossible but as of last week we got a few upsets we got North Carolina upsetting Miami that was a good game but if you want to hear a much bigger upset You already know it. People are calling this the shoe game. Here's why. LSU upsetting Florida, the number six team in the nation, in the swamp with a 57 yard field goal. I mean, what did I say last week? Why are we even picking for this game? This is, again, very obvious. <sighs> nah, let's face it, we suck. All I remember now is, we don't suck now. <laughs> Finally, it's good to have my Tigers back in business. Uh, man, last week was kind of crazy. Nearly lost my voice after that game. Um, ran up and down the streets with my LSU flag after that huge, incredible win. But enough with the past. Let's now look at the present and future. What we got coming in Championship Week. <laughs> So, we are officially one week away until Christmas morning, which is next week, which also means two weeks away from New Year's, which also means it's the college football playoffs. So, with that being said, let's jump into the rankings, shall we? Number one, still at number one, Alabama. I do agree with the committee. Alabama should be number one by the end of the playoffs. But at number two is... Notre Dame, standing at number two still, and number three, Clemson. Just saying, not much have changed over the past few weeks, but Notre Dame and Clemson will be facing off in the ACC title game, which will, in my opinion, determine who will get a spot in the playoffs. And at number four, Ohio State. I don't know if there's room for the Big Ten in the playoffs, but the Big Ten hasn't played much, so... Especially not Ohio State, but... Anyway, here are some notable championship games to keep an eye out on. Sunbelt, Louisiana Raging Cajuns, and the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Last time these two teams met was this season. Coastal Carolina defeating the Raging Cajuns by a winning field goal, I believe. Now who remain unbeaten. And also we have the... Big 12 title game, Oklahoma and Iowa State. People were doubting Oklahoma, like all those upsets from the past previous past weeks. I mean, Oklahoma did recently lose to Iowa State, but I'm pretty sure Oklahoma will have a shot at revenge in this game. Um, Big 10 championship game. Northwestern and Ohio State. Northwestern was like 
one of the worst teams from last season, and now making a huge comeback from this season, facing off against Ohio State. But I don't think we will see a Cinderella story for the Northwestern Wildcats. I bet my money on the Ohio State Buckeyes, who will just slightly make it to the college football playoff. And now on to the SEC, Alabama and Florida. Florida coming off a huge upset over against LSU, lost in the shoe game, as I mentioned. Um, but right now, Florida is pretty mad now. They're going to become stomping from the swamp to Atlanta as they will fight against Alabama. They will score a lot of points. But not enough to defeat Alabama, in my opinion. And finally, this week's main event, the ACC Championship. Number two, Notre Dame. And number three, Clemson. A very exciting game. The ultimate rematch from the previous weeks. Um, last time, Notre Dame won in overtime. Touchdown Jesus looking on over that huge win in South Bend, Indiana. And now, as ACC Championship tradition, these two meet teams will now meet up in Charlotte, North Carolina, home of the Carolina Panthers. Um, but I don't think Notre Dame is going to do too well as they got on their right play. Clemson has their right players as I think they will come out with the win this week. I'm going to say Clemson. So that's pretty much all for championship week and made, already made a few picks which will actually don't count with Cole's picks but let's make some real picks shall we? <laughs> Alright maybe championship week but we still got some other extra games left from the season so let's start things off with in Knoxville, Tennessee Vols taking on the Texas Aggies. And this one's easy for me. I'm going to have to say Texas A&M. And in my opinion, if Texas A&M wins and the loser of the Ohio State Clemson game drops out of the top four, then I'm pretty sure Texas A&M will still have a 50-50 shot in the college football playoffs. Only if they win. And next up we got LSU and Ole Miss. The Magnolia Bowl is what they like to call them. LSU Tigers coming off with a huge victory over Florida after last week's shoe game. And I'm going to say we apparently don't suck anymore. I'm going to have to say my beloved LSU Tigers will defeat the Ole Miss Rebels again. <laughs> and next up we got Missouri taking on Mississippi State in Starkville. And pretty sure Missouri is going to be having a hard time struggling with all the ringing cowbells all the way in Stark Vegas. But I think Missouri has a chance to survive in Stark Vegas. I'm going to say Missouri will defeat Mississippi State. And last but certainly not least, the 2020 SEC Championship game. Alabama Crimson Tide and the Florida Gators meeting up in Atlanta. This last time these two teams met in the SEC title game was uh, back in 2016. Alabama won that game. But earlier I said Florida is going to come stomping into Atlanta, scoring a lot of points, but not enough to defeat Alabama. Well, guess again, folks. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Hang on. Now are we talking? Roll Tide! Roll! Alabama will be 
your 2020 SEC champions once again remains number one in the college football playoff and will win out in the national championship and will win the whole thing this year. Roll Tide! And that is all I have for you guys. Thank y'all for joining in. And I look forward to another exciting championship week. Um, but still, I'm pretty sure last year's championship week was much better. Um, last season was actually one of the best seasons I have experienced. But any other than that, um, hopefully this year's championship week will be good. Um, also, be sure to be pressing that subscribe button, and if you want to see some of my other videos, just some right over here. And we will see you in championship week. Enjoy your college football Saturday.